It's Coach Joe here with a special installment for uh, how to smoke a macaroni and cheese barbecue fatty. All right, so we're gonna go step by step through this. Um, first thing we do is make a bacon weed. So I'm gonna start you through that process and get everything going. All right, so first thing with the bacon weed, we're gonna lay out half the bacon just like that, nice row area. And we'll start weaving the bacon. All right, so we stretch it out and make sure it fits. We're gonna take every other piece if I remember how to do this, it's been a little while. So we take every other piece like that, and we're gonna flip it, starting to make that weave. This is gonna hold the meat in. Let me go every other one again. That way we start to get it. Take the next piece of bacon, lay it there, stretch it a little bit. Then we'll flip them back over. And as you can see, the weave's starting to form. So, <clears throat> at the last piece here, and that should complete it. Now we have a nice bacon weave. And that's where our meat's gonna sit. That's where our meat's gonna sit once we get that. We're gonna go, um, usually I go ground beef, half pound ground beef, half pound, pound of ground beef. Uh, pork, but they're out of pork, so I'm trying turkey this time. We'll see how that works. Uh, got the macaroni and cheese cooking. About to. I need to beat ashes for water. Huh. Got a new cameraman, Jackson. Uh, the old cameraman's now 19 in college, so I got Josie uh, on the camera right now, so she's learning. Make sure you follow her at TikTok. At... Stop. Stop. What's your TikTok? No, <laughs> you don't have to. Okay, well, make sure you follow me at Twitter, at Joe LeBeer, for more life coaching tips. So we're going to put in a um, half pound of ground turkey. Still a little frozen, that'll be all right. Now we'll go a little skimpy on that, like American beef. And half pound of ground, or ground beef, so we should get a pound. Um, mix it all together. I've done more before. I've done more before, but it, it's too much. Um, gotta stick with just about a pound mixture. And that way it sits right in that bacon weed pretty good. So we're mixing that up. All right. All right, just adding a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, nothing big. Um, of course, you can season this and do this any way you want. It's always up to you. Salt and pepper never hurts. Always add Lee and Pepperin's Worcestershire sauce, which I can never say. Get that in there because you want a lot of moisture in this. All you're basically doing is making um, a meatloaf, smoking it on the grill. So get some moisture in there. And there we go. Now the trick is, what you guys are probably wondering, is how am I going to get that perfectly fit in there? And that's what you got a one gallon bag for. So you take your meat mixture. Might need to add a little more, we'll see here. Put it in a gallon bag and look what it's going to form into. A nice perfect square. Make sure you get the middle out. Flatten it out real good. Trying to be super quiet because Mrs. LeBeer is upstairs sleeping. She worked last night on the front lines. All right, so there's our square. Now we got to get that on the meat. So you just cut it. There's one.
and there's two. So what I'm gonna do now is take it. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that, YouTubers. Look at that. It looks good. Um, last thing I'm gonna do. Can you open that for me, babe? Yeah. Here, I'll tell you what. I'm done with all that. That's why you wear gloves. A little bit of a uh, Byron's butt rub. Byron's butt rub. Can't go wrong with that. A little seasoning. Not a whole lot. Just a little, a little dab. Alright, so we're just gonna let the macaroni cook, kind of rub that around, kind of flavoring. There we go. And there we go. Um, next thing we're gonna do is let the macaroni cook. Hopefully, get the grill fired up here in about 30 minutes. Uh, it's gonna be about a two and a half hour cook or so, just depending on temperatures. Um, I've done these before with, you can put anything inside of a fatty. Today I'm doing macaroni and cheese. I've done onions, peppers, uh, sausages. Um, I'll do shrimp one day for Kelly. Um, uh, I've seen Philly cheesesteaks. Anything that you like, you put it in here and just let it work. Just let it cook. Again, be sure to follow me at Twitter, at Joe Beer, More Life Coaching Tips. All right, welcome back. So now we got uh, macaroni and cheese done cooking, just kind of letting that come down to temp. Um, got a Weber kettle here. Uh, that's what, it's only, it's only I had to cook on, it's the only I got. So um, Weber kettle. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a modified minion method set up here with just one grate. Um, so I only need about a, anywhere from a two to three hour burn. So um, got these coals in here. I'm going to light the coals in the chimney. All right. And just get those going. I've only got about 12 or 15 in there. So I can try to get that low temp. Um, so once these come up and they're ready to bolt, uh, roll, dump those right on top in this open space right here let them catch and burn just kind of go from there i'll be using a uh, hickory and applewood today um just kind of you know give it that smoke flavor so more of hickory than apple i'll use the apple a little bit there we go um so i'm just gonna put the paper towels in i think my next investment is gonna be a, a butane lighter so that way i don't even have to use a chimney for these small cooks um i can just come right in get about six or seven lit with that butane and just let it take off from there so uh, we'll get this going and uh, should take about 20 minutes or so usually when I found out with less charcoal it takes longer to catch um, than with a full basket of charcoal so there you go all right it's a Weber kettle set up love Weber kettle um, and we'll go from there follow me at Twitter at Joe Levere for more life coaching tips got the grill going up there um, so now we got our macaroni. I've done it with homemade macaroni, and this is just cheesy shells. I actually find this to be more liquidy, more cheesy, so that's a good thing. Um, just gonna pop some in there, just like that. There we go. Get that in the hand, so that way we can have these for leftovers. All right. So there's our fatty. Got it nice. Let me get the. Uh, it's a super good sauce I found. I'm really on. It's called a Southern Red Barbecue Sauce by Melville's. Melvin's. Um, I don't know. If that's the. Uh, that might be the old. Uh, what you call it, guy from Maurice? I don't know. Um, it just kind of hit me when I said that. But anyways, it's good sauce. Um, you don't have to use sauce, but you know, again, this is a fatty. Is whatever you make it to be. Let me go. Nice layer there. Nice layer there. A little dripping, a little flavor. Hey man, you can put ranch in that if you want to. It don't matter. That's up to you. Um, again, you just put whatever you want on there. That's your fatty. Here's the hard part. You gotta fold it now. Um, so I'm gonna try to use two spatulas here. Usually I have someone helping me, but again, Kelly's sleeping. I think Jackson might be sleeping at all, so we're going to go two spatulas and just flop it and pray for the best. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, baby. All right. Worked out good. Worked out good. All right. So we got that. I'm just going to kind of roll it in like a, well, like a fatty, if you will. <laughs> you don't know what that means, Josie. I don't know why you're laughing. So, all right. So we're going to take this, roll it back. 
Bacon weave seems to be holding pretty decently. Cram the corners in. My lovely assistant has already got me out of toothpicks because now it is time to toothpick the heck out of this thing. So that way we can get it staying still, nice and stuffed good. Doesn't matter how you do it, you just want it all to make sure it stays together and it will ooze out. I've never had one that didn't. Uh, so sometimes the less stuff that you stuff it with, usually it holds together. Um, make sure when you do toothpick it, you go through the bacon. That's kind of the glue that holds it together. Top to bottom, bottom to top. A couple more in here. All right, where did I? So here's a flip part. Make sure you definitely get this side because that's where the ends meet. Tell you what, it's my first time using um, Costco bacon, and it looks, it's cut really good. I mean, if you get a bad cut of bacon, it messes your weave up, and it doesn't look um, quite as good as mine does now. It's a pretty good looking bacon weave. So it's nice, even pieces, and so on. So there we go. I just overkill with two picks, because you just take them out, so. That way everything's stuffed in there nice and secure. Hopefully it won't be leaking out. But it will. Never have one not do it. Make sure you use a drip pan on the grill, but I'll go over that um, as we get there. All right, so again, we're just going to go check the temperature of the grill real quick, and, and we're almost ready to start cooking. Tubers, here we go. Get ready to dump the coals in again. I just got a few in there. Get a good shot. It's going to be hot up top, so be careful. Good. So we got those lit. They're ready to roll. Um, dump them over in this corner. Hopefully the grill will come up and tent then. And there we go. Alright, so we got those on there. And they'll just start to burn slowly. From the bottom of that snake, you get a good picture over here. Um, from that, it's a mod again a modified minion method, but they'll just start to burn over there. Hopefully it'll hold that tent for a while. I'll catch now we're on fire and pause it that's it all right so we got a got a drip pan in here so that way the meat will get on it put a nice piece of hickory right there let that catch let the grill come up the tent uh, put my temperature throb I got my Make a little stand for it. There, I should hold right there. I, I am having trouble right now connecting my uh, my eye grill too. Right now, having a little trouble connecting that to my phone, so. Um, I've had the Mini. Mini worked great would connect, but Bluetooth, the iGrill 2 is having a little bit of difficulty. That way I get my grill temp um, along with the gauge up here and also the more accurate reading that I'll have my meat thermometer probe I'll throw into that. I uh, should be good. All right, we'll check back later. Guys, we got the grill up the, up the temp right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put the fatty on. Um, she's looking good, good bacon weave, so uh, get that going. that right over the drip pan if you do a probe make sure you get it into the ground beef all right and there we go hickory in the back catching good everything's looking good um so right now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm still keeping my vents wide open on the bottom and right now my damper on top is wide open too um, but i'll start adjusting temperatures as, as it rises and goes from there so again looking about a two to three hours smoke depending on the temperatures um this isn't the best grill to control temps but it is one of the better 
Uh, just basic grills to do it. If you have an offset smoker or something, that is a lot better. Uh, but anyways, I've gotten pretty good at it. Love it. So Weber finally got the, um, the iGrill 2 to connect to the cell phone. So I'll be able to monitor, monitor temperatures. Um, this video goes out to Ashley Powell, maybe River high school. Um, good grilling buddies learning stuff. So, you know, hopefully you can use this and make some fatties and make them however you want. Again, follow me at Twitter, at Joe Levere, more life coaching tips. All right, guys, I was inside cleaning up and my trusty I grilled two uh, thermometer told me we're at about 250, uh, 253 actually. So I'm gonna choke down a little bit here on the on the vent. So I'm gonna four, gonna go down just to bring it down a little bit. I'll close the damper just a little bit also, but as we see the smokes run out. So um, just add another piece of, all right there. And I always, of course, if I'm doing this, I always put the heat source on that grate so I can flip it up and get right into it. There's the fatty, looking good. It's only been about 20 minutes, so um, should be good. Actually, I'm gonna put that all the way up until it gets caught again, until the wood gets caught. Um, but that's it, just kind of monitoring and maintaining right now. Um, Brian Sanders, all right, got a coach with it. Uh, linebackers coach, um, one of the greatest coaches I've coached with. He's a young guy, does a lot of training, uh, football, basketball, athletic training, trains my nephew, Jake. Jake Peterson, what's up, buddy? Um, on Mother's Day, Coach Sanders somehow got himself a grill that his wife bought him, I believe. So, uh, said he got his first big boy grill. So, hey, man, here's something you can try. Coach Sanders, welcome to the club, buddy. All right, so as you can see, uh, you got a nice thin blue smoke line coming out of the top there. That's what you want. Um, perfect. Welcome back, YouTubers. All right. Um, snack in my teeth anyways uh, about an hour mark into about 45 minutes we got the temperature back down let's check it out see how we're looking Ooh, smoking along good smoking along good uh, there's an old saying that no we're not getting that because that's an that go ahead and get that that's fine that's inaccurate because it's right over the heat source so it says 350 take 100 off we're right about 250 230 250 240 is what the gauge is saying um what I was gonna say. But anyways, cooking along. Uh, remember to follow me at Twitter at Joe Levere for more life coaching tips. Welcome back, YouTubers. Uh, we're about an hour and a half into it. Um, temperature's holding steady, about 250. Internal meat temp right now is at 140, so we got about 25 more degrees to go. Let's get a sneak peek. What we got? Woo, ever looking good. Up, oh, got a little flare up back there. That's because you took the lid off, but that's fine. Um, I have added some apple in there. Um, so again, we're going with mostly hickory with a couple chunks of apple and now I'm going to choke that down to get that fire out So I'm going to close the vents Choke it down at the bottom. We'll let that fire come out and a lot of gray smoke will come out But that's normal. It'll clear out in about five minutes and, uh, Gray's not what you want. Blue is what you want. Thin blue smoke line um, so I'm thinking probably about another 30 to 45 minutes or so and we'll see if it's done by then. All right, we'll check back later Hi right, YouTubers, welcome back. We're uh, we're done. About a two hour and 15 to 20 minute cook here. Uh, internal temperature is reading at 165, so we're good. Um, probably gonna let it sit on here a little bit longer. Got some other things to finish up. But let's see what a finished fatty should look like. Oh baby, can't wait to cut into that thing a little bit. Um, just super good. There's the coals over here. That worked out perfect. Um, that's just from you know doing my grill so many times i know how long a good cook's gonna take um grill temperature still holding at um i think it was 240 when i last checked it so i could probably get another hour out of that uh 30 minutes to an hour out of that little bit of charcoal and if i need it longer i'd go to the snake method um or so on but just those few pieces of charcoals just it's easy enough to get my grill up so you got to figure out your grill what works for that um again follow me at twitter at joe Levere for more life coaching tips YouTube, let's cut into it and see how it looks here. Um, I like to go nice thin cuts. Got my cut co knife. All right, let's see here. here. Let's see how that looks. Come here and get that camera shot. Oh, baby. Good eats tonight. All right, again, thank you all very much. Good tutorial on a smoked fatty. Again, put anything in it you want. 
Uh, remember to follow me at Twitter, at Joe Levere, for more life coaching tips.